Hello everybody, I'm back again. So I just wanted to come in real quick and share some um, book page pocket sets that um, I finished. Let me see if I could, no, 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 this way. So you guys could see them better. Okay, so it's two <laughs> sets. So let's see guys, I just wanted to come in real quick and share. I've already listed them on Etsy. Um, I was working on some, another set. And I did this one. Look how cute. But that's going to be from another set. That's just a cute little tag. I need to cover the back. But anyway, see, I'm getting out of a, out of focus. Okay. So I guess I'll start with um, this one since we did a tutorial or a craft with me with these. So this one I had shared already, that light over here. I really like the way that turned out. I used the Tim Holtz um, slide thingy, these um, photo strips. There you go. Oh man, okay, we'll put it back. But so that's what I, I used here and this pocket you would glue here and here and you would have um, a nice tuck. I should have brought, well, I can use this page. So you would add that on your journal like that. Maybe that'll be my model. So you would put your pocket and then you just insert your your little tags there so that that's how that one goes I love the way that turned out and I used different kinds of uh, lace um, fabric this is vintage wallpaper um, it was gifted to me by Debbie Ham on YouTube and uh, I have some music sheet I have some uh, cheesecloth and this uh, trim here was gifted to me by uh, Kathleen so yeah I love the way that turned out and then I used some of the washi from uh, Tim Holtz cut the word out and then this is the next one now this one I left the blank in the back uh, you could either glue it down just put your glue all around and then use it as a tuck you would just tuck things back here or you can just glue on the side two sides and then you have a nice little tuck back there and then you have your pocket here and this is in the form of a tag so yeah I love those images from Tim Holtz I'm not going to pull out the ephemera um, because they look cute <laughs> this little tag I had made it and I found it at home so yeah, that's, that's two. And then this one here. And this one I went ahead and added some buttons. And then the ephemera, like I said, it's um, from various um, um, shops on Etsy. So I'm not going to say anything because I'll probably get it wrong. <laughs> and then this one here, this is just a cute little envelope. As you could see, and this just has a piece of ephemera here. I have a little sticker there, some of that vintage um, wallpaper, and some lace. And then on this side, I have this um, cutout. I think this is from um, Taylor Made Journals. I know I got a lot of kits from her to fussy cut, which I just recently got one. I want to play with it making pockets using those images so that'll probably be my next craft with me and then here i just went ahead and added a um vintage um stamp so yeah i thought that came out cute and then this one so they all kind of coordinate this is the back i just went ahead and added this piece and this is one of those um wallet style um pockets 
just put a piece of ephemera. I didn't really add much to it here because I didn't want to make it bulky. But I love the way it turned out. And then you have this one here. And this again, you can glue down on um, both sides and then on the bottom and use it as a tuck. You could also do just two sides and then you can just insert stuff on the back. Or you can leave it as a floating pocket as well. If, if I was to use that, I would probably put some coffee dyed paper here so you can journal on the back. But yes, I, I like the way that came out. I love this trim here. And then I have it up here too. So yeah, I did um, create this one on a, on a craft with me. Here's another one with that gentleman. And then I have some of this trim on the top. And again, this would go on your page, glue on both sides and then on the bottom. Or just two sides and then just tuck on the back. And if it's a floating pocket, just cover that with uh, coffee dyed paper and you can journal on the back. So that is my first um, set and then it's a set of seven pockets on each. So pop that to the side. And then this is my next one. I'll start with the big ones here. So this one again, same format. Glue it on all three sides or just two sides. And this one, I just went ahead and added a bunch of uh, lace, um, cheesecloth, some of this eyelash trim. I can't remember where this one came from. And then some of that brown, um, like deli paper. So I like how that turned out. And then this one here. This one again, just a bunch of layering. Again, you would just put it on your page. And then here, I'll take this one out because I did do a, um, a tag for it. And these tags were already made. They're from um, Artsology. I had some extra ones that I had printed out. I tend to do uh, books and I cut everything and I get ready. And then for some reason, I lose them. <laughs> I misplace them and then I find them later. So yeah, that's what happened here. So anyways, I just went ahead and sewed her. I think these images came from... Um, Geeko Gals. So I just backed it on some brown, um, kind of like a. Um, I found these in an uh, album. I guess back in the days, actually, I have another one that I found here. Let me show you. These old um, um, craft books or scrapbooks. This one has a different kind of color paper, but see, they're they look like construction paper. They're kind of old. The other one was a cream color. I found two this color. This is kind of like a, oh my goodness, I want to say uh, it's like a kind of an um, off pink. I don't know. I probably don't even know my colors, guys. But anyways, <laughs> I'm a mess. It's this one here, but the other one was a cream color. But yeah, I, uh, I found two of these. And then look, one of my glue opened and I try to take as much as I can. So as I could I mean so yeah I, anyways I wasn't planning on using the cover I just want the paper and to use it as backgrounds but yeah I've been lucky to find three of those so yeah so that is that on that one so I'll pop her back in there I should probably throw that one back there she could see her that's really cute and oh, I'm gonna move here then we have this one here. And this is like one of those uh, booklets that go around a page. Um, I think the images came from on this kit that I used from uh, Figaro. Figaro. Ah. Okay, I have to go look it up. But yeah, she had some, um, and her kit is just a bunch of images of women and then um, ephemera pieces that some of them are in here. And then that's the back. So it's decorated on both sides because it goes, um, um, it just goes in the page like so. And you would just put a little paper clip or leave it as, as, as is. So you can journal on the inside. And then here you have a pocket. 
and this this is from Tsunami Rose. I've been finding a lot of stuff that, like I said, I printed before and a long time ago, and I can't remember. So some I can, some I can't. See, this is part of that kit from Figaro with the ladies. This is one of the images. There's another image on the back, and this again is a kind of like a little envelope, but again, I did it in the sense that you would also wrap it around a page. So I just added some lace, some cheesecloth, some of that deli paper on the back. And then on this side, one of these um, images, a bunch of layering in the back, as you could see. Little button. And then on the inside, I added another one of those pieces. I did shrink them down. And then just a piece of ephemera on the back. On the back. On the inside. So yeah, there you have that one. And then this is another one like the one over there. Um, a little wallet style um, insert. And then there's the back. And again, on this one... You can also do this and just add a little paper clip while you can still add your ephemera on the back. So, or you can just insert it somewhere. But yeah, that's this one. And then on the inside, I did add some of this um, uh, fabric and lace in on the inside and just added uh, a little word there. And see, these are the um, images that come with that kit. I just can't remember the this one. This one did come from another kit. I can't remember which one, but that's not from Figaro. So that's really cute. I like that. And then you have this one here. And again, I did a tag on this one. And this one, it was printed on photo paper also. Both the ones on the tags. And then this is a pocket. Just added a vintage button. And it still had a thread in there so that was cool and then just another piece of ephemera and yeah you would just glue and insert it on your pocket all ready to go and you could probably pop this one in the back or leave it in the front really cute and then we have the corner pocket for this one just went ahead and added one of these little flowers that's been coffee dyed and again some of that deli paper some lace So yeah, guys, and that one again goes on the corner of your page and you would just tuck some stuff there. So I'm working on a couple more. Like I said, I haven't, um, I haven't, um, completed, but I did have these two ready and I already popped them in my store. So I just wanted to share, um, look at this one. Didn't I think this is so cute. I got these, uh, little... Oh my god, I got snippets from my friend Patty, and I've been trying to use them in my stuff, playing with them, and I ended up turning this one into a pocket. Isn't that cute? I love that. So Patty, look what I did. Okay, sorry guys. So that's a little pocket in there. I just sewed it there. I thought that was so cute. And then this side, put a bunch of uh, different fabrics, and there's the inside. Oh, I did put paper for journaling here. So yeah, I like how that came out. This one I made it today. I don't know. It's just something in my head. I came, sat, did it. Boom. <laughs> and then this one. So these aren't aren't ready yet. They're not completed. But this, these so far, these are the parts I have ready. So they will. I will still have some more. But right now, these two are on my Etsy. I marked them one and two. So if you're interested, you can go stop by and check them out. Um, other than that, I will see you guys on my next video. Okay, um, like I said, I want to do more, um, what did I say I was going to do? Not pockets. Or did I say pockets? See, I'm a mess. I'm tired. That's what it is. Anyways, I will see you guys on my next craft with me. You guys take care. God bless. Bye-bye.